up today guys we are doing a magic the gathering deck review now this is something new oh jeez, my phone no sorry this is still recording right okay sorry that was kind of a wreck of an intro guys um well <laughs> let's get into the video i just want okay so today the deck we are doing is vivian nature's avenger so let's just zoom out a little okay so the deck we are doing is vivian nature's avenger so i have um i did not just open this deck box as you can see it's kind of beat up I used it for a little while i got it not too long ago but um yeah so the cards are all shuffled but um like these and stuff so i'm just gonna go through and there are a few cards in here that i manually put in but um we're just gonna go through them right now gonna go through some of these and see how it is we're gonna move this over a little just gonna make sure everything's at the right camera angle okay vivian's crocodile this is a 3-3 three, three for 3, and it has a 1-1 one, one counter on it if I control a Vivian's Planeswalker. Or, not a Vivian's, a Vivian. Okay, you know, I'm going to save this card for last because it is a part of good card. Greenwood Sentinel. Um, it is a creature, it's an elf scout, and it's a 2-2 two, two Vigilance for 2. And by the way, this is a mono green deck, everybody. And so putting those in there. And then we got a forest, yay. And then Titanic Growth. What this card is, is Tiger Creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Uh, it's an instant. And yeah. So we got another forest. We have a Gnarlback Rhino. This is a 4-4 four, four, Trample for 4. That's just gross, man. And whenever you cast a spell that targets him, draw a card. So this is Gnarlback Rhino. Just gonna make sure I'm holding this in front of the camera, right? Yep, okay, so about here is a good spot to hold it. Focus. Focus! Sorry if it doesn't really focus, guys. Um, my bad. Forest, Silverback, Shaman. We got a few of these in here. Got, like, a few of everything in here. It's, uh, for five. Come on, focus, for goodness sakes. Focus. Focus on the gorilla's beautiful face. Wow, that's really disappointing. I'm so sorry, guys. Here. This is actually really disappointing. Focus. Come on. Come oh my gosh, I'm actually really triggered right now. Um how is this not focusing? Hello? Focus please. That's actually really disappointing. Stop. That's actually really disappointing. I'm sorry guys. Um okay. Another card we have is Burkhide Troll. Uh, it does Battlefield plus one plus one counter on it, and it's so it starts out as a three three for two because it enters with a one one counter. And it's focus for goodness sakes! Oh my gosh, this is actually really ticking me off. Stop! Just focus on the dang card. Maybe if I like shadow it, I'm so sorry, guys. This is really bugging me. Okay, one second. I'm going to pause the video and get back to you and see if I can get this to focus. Okay, we're back, guys. I can't get it to focus for some reason. This is really getting me mad. Uh, Burkhide Troll, 3-3, three, three, pay 1, remove 1, plus 1, plus 1 counters from it, becomes hexproof until end of turn. Don't know why you would do that. I mean, it's a dang 3-3 three, three for 3. Pretty good. We've got a forest. See, it focuses on everything else. Uh, Titanic growth again. Growth cycle. This one's really nice. Uh, for two, it's an instant target creature. It gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. It gets an additional plus two, plus two until end of turn for each card named growth cycle in your graveyard. Wow. 
this is the mystery card that we're gonna do at the end. Forest, forest, another bark hide troll, another growth cycle, ethereal elk. Okay, this is one of Vivian's. <laughs> I almost called her Nissa. One of Vivian's tutor cards. Um, three, three trample. When it enters the battlefield, you can search for Vivian. It's five. Focus. If you just <laughs> maybe if you go like this, it focuses better. I'm so sorry, guys. This is really ticking me off, too. It's probably ticking all of you off and thinking, wow, he's the worst YouTuber in the world. Vivian's Crocodile, you saw that one. Okay, Season of Growth. This is an enchantment. And when a creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. And whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, draw a card. Forest. Forest. Might of the Masses. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each creature you control. Pretty normal instant. Elf Scout. Uh, it's the Greenwood Sentinel. Rabid Bite. I use this one all the time. I love it. It's amazing. Okay. So an ideal first hand is like a Greenwood Sentinel, a Rabid Bite, maybe three forests, um, and a... Oh, actually, I'm not going to say that mystery card. Um, like, uh, maybe a Silverback Shaman and a Waker Root Elemental or something. I don't know. But, um... It's always nice, or like a Vivian's Crocodile, a Rabid Bite, though, and a Viv like a 2-2 two -two, uh, or a 3-3 three -three and a Rabid Bite is amazing because if you get out um, three of your cards, or if you get out three lands, let's say, play a Vivian's Crocodile, and then... Let's say you went first, so you all usually have a one-up land on them. They go, they place their third land, play a three-drop. for It's a three-three, three-drop. Okay. Then, let's say it goes back to your turn. You can play Rabid Bite. Target creature you control does damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. So, that's really nice for early game. I've done this a million times. Well, not a million, but you know what I'm saying. Um, Where... I will place down a Vivian's Crocodile. They'll go. They'll place down like a 3-3. Three, three. My turn. I'll do a Rabid Bite. Kill it. And then swing in for 3 damage. It's amazing. I love it. Another Vivian's Crocodile. Uh, Silverback Shaman. Pretty sure we did that one. Um, Forest. Ooh, Gnarlback Rhino. I don't know if we did this one yet. Um, it's 4-4. Four, four, trample for 4. Uh, whenever he has spell that targets him, draw a card. Season of Growth, did that one. Forest, Titanic Growth, did that. Growth Cycle, did that. Ethereal Elk, again. You guys know this one? I'm so ticked off that this won't focus! <gasps> Rage Monster! Here, let's see if... Ugh. This won't focus. Why? Just why? It's really making me mad. Got a rabid bite. A forest. Bayloth Woodcrasher. Okay, this one <laughs> I put in here along with Creeping Renaissance. I put these two cards in here. Um, Bayloth Woodcrasher is a well, beast. And oh, focus the dang camera. Holy crap. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, Bayloth Woodcrasher gets plus four, plus four, and gains trampled until end of turn. Why? Just focus. This is really maddening. Um, so this is a really good, good card. And if you have a deck, a, kind of like a landfall deck or something, um, and there are cards that say you can play two land every turn. So this thing, you could bump it up to a 12-12 trample. That'd be pretty insane. And then Creeping Renaissance is choose a permanent type. Return all cards of the chosen type from graveyard to your hand. That's really nice, because if I just played a crap ton of creatures, or they just killed a crap ton of my creatures, I can just be like, Booyah! And then you can also play it again for its flashback cost. So, that's really nice. Bark Hide Troll. Rainwood Sentinel. I think we went through pretty much all the cards. Are the rest of these for us? But we haven't gone through Vivian yet. Here, let me just... Forest, forest... Uh, let's say Vivian for last. Okay, Waker Root. Okay, let's just discard Rabid Bite. Growth Cycle. Mm hmm. Silverback Shaman. Now back around. We're going to cock it out in a force. Okay, we only got three things left to do. So, Waker Root Elemental. It, for six, it is a 5 5, but 
You can pay five, and you untap target land you control. It becomes a five-five elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. So that's really nice. Um, this effect lasts as long as that land remains on the battlefield. So I'm really sorry that this isn't focusing, guys. I feel really bad about that. Um, Vivian, Nature's Avenger. Um... Yep. <laughs> I'll read her after you guys. Um, okay, why won't this focus? Sorry, I kind of got to bend her back. I know it's kind of painful to watch me bend the Planeswalker, but you can always tell where it is in your deck then. Um, okay, Vivian, Nature's Avenger. It's a uh, hollow foil, really cool. Yeah, just like all the other Planeswalkers. It's got some spirit. Uh, this won't focus, so you guys can't see it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try this. I know I've probably wasted some of your guys' time by the whole focusing thing, but... Yeah, you can't see it. It's so triggering! Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm not one of those people who's always like, I'm getting triggered! But no offense to the people who are like those. Uh, okay, her plus one is put three plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. Uh, minus one is reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of the library in any order. Uh, and her minus six is target creature gets plus ten, plus ten against trample until end of turn. That's really good. And, um, I, I don't think this deck has been defeated before. In my hands, at least. Sometimes when I'll let my friends play it, I'll beat them, uh, with my Eldrazi landfall deck. Um... So, yeah, but we got a spirit wolf here, a spirit cougar over there, it looks like, and a spirit bear. So, uh, she's six mana, and she starts out with three loads, least a counter. So, that's a pretty good planeswalker. And three plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. That's amazing, because this deck has so many trample people. Uh, let's just, for example, uh... Let's use the next card as an example. One, uh, probably the best card in the deck besides Vivian, Aggressive Mammoth. It is an 8-8 eight, eight Trample for 6 mana. That is gross. That is insanely disgusting. Sorry, when someone says that and says that in magic terms, it means, like, that's holy crap. And other creatures you can draw of Trample. So... If you play this, and let's say you have Vivian out, you can bump, pump, bump, <laughs> pump this thing to an 11-11 trample, and the counters don't come off of the card. Holy crap. It just keeps pumping. One time, okay, one time when I was playing, I got a card up to a, I think it was this one, I got up to a 24-24 Holy crap, and, and I obviously won the game. So, that's the deck, everybody. Um, I hope you liked the review. I'm really sorry about the focusing again. That's really annoying. It's like, it just annoys me. Okay. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. It wasn't one of my best high quality videos but um i really hope you guys liked it um vivian nature's avenger uh this deck would i recommend it yes i would highly recommend this deck it is absolutely freaking lootly insane so i would recommend this deck why won't this focus holy crap uh -huh. it's really getting on my nerves Focus! Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's not focusing, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, what's this do? Oh, jeez. Zoom it out in the wolf's face. Brah. Like and subscribe, or this wolf will be in your bed tonight. I'm kidding. I w I'm not like one of those YouTubers who just say, Subscribe, or this tarantula will be in your bed tonight. So, that's Vivian, everybody. I hope you liked the video. I'm really sorry I couldn't get it to focus. And like and subscribe. Goodbye.